an umbrella for Drewby. Author Shabnam Minwala. Illustrator Malvika Tewari. Drewby the dragonfly has just learned to fly. She flies near the pond with her friends. They tease the frogs and the mosquitoes for lunch. In the evening, Drewby flies to the jungle nearby. She looks at the bird nests and spider webs. She does not see the clouds gather in the sky. Plop! A raindrop falls on Drewby's head. Drewby wants to go back home, but she does not want her wings to get wet. I need an umbrella, thinks Drewby. She flies to the gomor tree. It looks like a strong red umbrella. The leaves are too tiny. Too small to even cover an ant, thinks Drewby. I need something bigger. Drewby sees big, star-shaped leaves. The papaya tree leaves will make a lovely umbrella, thinks Drewby. Oh no, it's letting all the rain in. The wind blows strong, but Drewby has still not found her umbrella. She perches under a plant, but the thin leaves fold up. How unkind you are, Drewby says to the touch-me-not plant. Drewby is upset. The jungle is full of leaves. There are thin leaves and fat ones, big ones and small ones, but none are umbrella leaves. Suddenly, Drewby sees a banyan tree. It does not have star-shaped leaves or prickly leaves. The leaves are not too heavy or too small. Drewby flies towards the banyan tree. She perches under the leaf. She has found an umbrella. More about dragonflies. Dragonflies are great travelers. Some dragonflies, like the wandering glider that we find in our fields and gardens, travel across the open seas from India to Africa. They travel more than 16,000 kilometers to cross the Indian Ocean. They start their journey from India in October and reach countries like Tanzania in January. On the way, they stop at islands like the Maldives and Seychelles. Dragonflies cannot fly if they are too hot or too cold. In the morning, they spread their wings to get heat from the sun. In the afternoon, some dragonflies perch with their body raised and their stomach pointing to the sun to stay cool. And the end.